ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel i am starco gaming and we are back with another dragon champion video if you are level 15 or below make sure to use the promo code the starco to get a free starter pack to do so it is pretty simple guys you go in the settings use a promo code and you enter the code the starco s-t-a-r-k-o press ok and you will receive the goodies and hopefully you guys will enjoy it well today guys it is finally time it is time to do the last part of our tier list for march 30 uh, march 2021 we are up to the dwarf today so this is literally the last part guys after that uh we're just gonna be updating the spreadsheet that you can find on the discord server and that is pretty much all we're gonna do unless we actually do a full revamp on that tier list like we just did this time around and by the way guys if you're not on my discord server yet make sure you join up because not only we have the best dragon champion guide uh, available there on the discord server but also we do a uh, dragon's giveaway on the discord server which is sponsored by the dev by the way guys we give a uh, three prize of 500 dragons a week all you gotta do is join on the discord server where you can find the link in the description that down below and then um in the dragon champion section category you go on the channel giveaway and uh you follow the instruction three winners every single week and guys if that improve if we get uh more parts spent uh you know over 100 parts spent eventually every week uh we could maybe be able to ask for more prize so um Join us, guys, participate, and let's have fun all together. So, guys, uh, today we're going to be talking about the Dwarf. Dwarf will currently have five Dwarf release into the game. Let's take a quick look at who we have in the game, guys. We have Zeppi, Bordwin, Tobol, Tool, and Raleigh. Those are the five Dwarfs that are currently available in the game. So, uh, not much ranking to do. We're only going to have to rank it those five characters, which is... Uh, actually not as easy as you think because uh those new factions are are pretty even uh, most characters in these factions are pretty even you saw yesterday the half big video we had a hard time to actually make the tier list for them well it's the same thing for the dwarf today but uh we're talking about dwarfs with not showing the list yet guys so let's just jump on the list here you can see the list so we have five characters zeppi boardwin tool tool and raleigh and uh, we rank them all in a specific order let's talk about this order so let's start with the first character uh, zeppi zeppi is a warrior get ss in pve s in pvp a in the raid sadly there is no raid meta or semi meta for the um the dwarf faction that's the word i was looking uh, overall zeppi gets a s plus uh zeppi uh is well zeppi kit is amazing uh, one of the character with the is aoe damage in the game she also inflict aoe days which is pretty freaking amazing and as aoe crit damage increase buff which makes your whole team so much stronger she has a crazy kit guys her damage is crazy her uh debuff she afflicts and buff she uh she give uh, is just amazing she is one of the best character in the game in my opinion uh also some people asked me to drop her down in the ranking a little bit because they didn't believe so much in her but also she is missing uh well i know she just got the gear 12 ability um gear 12 uh last month so now she actually get gear 12 so probably could get her closer to the ss ranking my opinion but uh, she is a very solid character guys uh if you haven't seen her in action yet uh check my spotlight video that you can find on the spreadsheet right after the special note obviously uh next characters guys we have a boardwin boardwin is also a warrior uh pve ss pvps and raid a uh, global a ranking of s plus he is very very op a very strong amazing synergy with zeppi uh, bardwin is a very strong plug and play character due to his aoe armor decrease and aoe well it's aoe armor decrease aoe damage decrease and the buff removal but paired with zeppi he becomes so much more valuable increasing zappy penetration okay we gotta show that skill guys because that skill is just ridiculous 
that synergy that Bartwin bring to Zeppi is ridiculous here. See, increase penetration by 2% for every 1% of his charge, if his charge is less than 40% at the start of the turn, restore 25% charge. Zeppi received the same buff. So uh, Zeppi, if the charge of Zeppi is, for example, at 50%, she is going to be getting 100% penetration which is gonna take her second skill uh, second skill yeah her aoe skill and make it it so much harder and this is why she is so awesome if you have high critical damage uh, and critical rate uh, on zappy she is going to be destroying the opening team with that aoe i seen her wipe a whole team with that aoe when she gets that crazy critical hit on the test server at least it is crazy but this is because of this buff guys the two percent penetration for every one percent charge it is just a crazy buff just that makes a bard one so much valuable for the synergy with zappy now let's go back to the spreadsheet here uh let's move to the next characters next we have a tobal tobal is a ranger you get an s ranking in pve and pvp a ranking in raid overall ranking of s uh tobal is a a decent ranger with a great kit but it is most important uh, for is uh but uh the most important for him is now is how much stronger tool uh becomes when paired with him sorry guys a little bit of trouble reading the screens i got a new uh, a new monitor and man this is this is a terrible uh terrible monitor can barely read uh my text on it this is ridiculous i'm gonna have to find a way to fix that but we saw the text i just read here guys uh tobal is amazing uh for buffing tool and actually has decent damage too but it's really in making tool so much stronger he has a lot of synergy with tool again guys we're gonna go back in the game because uh this is actually pretty crazy so first you have is a uh, passive ability focus the target uh see here tool gets the same effect so uh, for every two percent change getting 1.5 percent currency and penetration increase if total charge is less than 50 percent gains 25 percent on a critical hit so a uh, lot of uh, currency and penetration for tool which is very very useful uh, then if you no nope, not this skill this skill yeah okay so here you can see here um if the target is not afflicted by bleeding, restore 20% charge to himself and tool, which is a great uh, synergy here. And yeah, two synergy. So he has two synergy ability with tool. We actually make it tool so much stronger. So uh, he gets to go above tool in the ranking just because he makes tool stronger. I, I know I'm repeating myself, guys, but it is really what it does. He make tool stronger which is why he is so important in my personal opinion next we have tool tools a rogue get s in pve and pvp get a in the raid with overall ranking of s tool by himself is average and that is why tobol ran above him because you need tobol to perform with tool uh, but due to his a synergy with tobol he becomes a much better um he ranks below tobol since he needs him to perform well so i repeat myself a lot here guys uh, when i am uh, talk before i actually read myself but yes tool is good don't get me wrong guys tool is good but he require tobol to be good that is the issue with tool still a very solid character still can do quite a good amount of damage but require tobol to actually perform well and last guys we have raleigh that does not mean that raleigh is the weakest dwarf in the game it's just because raleigh is missing this synergy character that comes with her uh, she is a healer get s in pve a in pvp a in the rain with the global ranking of a plus and that is just a um, temporary ranking for her because when her synergy characters get released she will get more powerful and uh, it's going to be easier to actually give her a better score raleigh kit is very interesting but she is still missing uh, her synergy 
character so we can't see her real potential just yet and that is a big problem with uh, you know how they've been releasing a dwarf and half big guys they release one characters without the synergy character so we don't really see, can uh we can't really see the value of the character which is a terrible design on the releasing the characters i i complain about it and hopefully it will change when they release the next batch of half big and dwarf but if we actually go back into the game once again guys and we actually go to raleigh so we can actually talk about that synergy here uh so like here we go uh restore 25 percent ch charge to herself and stim if the target have full out so you can see here the synergy with stim increasing the charge on stim is going to be very 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 useful here there is no synergy very strong healing though look at this healing guys and this is why uh it's hard to rank her solo because her healing is awesome heal all allies for 600 percent rolling magical damage consume 25 percent charge for every five percent charge consume some give a random ally armor increase ten tenacity increase and regeneration for two turns this is a freaking awesome skill by the way guys and then we have here uh, another synergy with stim uh, remove two debuff from himself gain chain death dodge increase and ace for two turns and restore 25 percent l stim get the talent for one turn consume 25 percent charge for every five percent uh charge consume restore 15 percent turn meter but she's gonna be able to make the goblin uh, not goblin but dwarf defender talent uncommon so you're going to be able to pair this ability for when uh the tank actually uh need to talent and you're going to be able to make the tank talent yourself with rally that's going to be an awesome synergy in my personal opinion and you can see here already two skills that require stim to actually perform well so this is kind of why she does not rank that eye and um the last skill does not have a synergy with stim so uh it doesn't matter i think i don't it doesn't no it doesn't so that one doesn't matter but the two the two skills that have synergy with stim actually need stim to see what stim is actually going to be looking like if stim is going to be any good is stim on this side is going to have great synergy to buff uh, up raleigh so we have to wait till stim gets really sadly to actually see or real value so that sucks but it is how it is guys so this is the dwarf faction guys five character uh if we repeat the ranking we have zeppi at s plus bordwin at s plus double s tool at s and raleigh at a plus all very solid characters guys those two new faction the f big and dwarf they are all kick ass faction can no wait to actually get access to their legendary characters i think it is now time to actually start uh announcing their legendary event because we are ready for it at least i am i know i am and hopefully uh, we are going to get them uh pretty soon and by the way guys for people wondering uh where are the two new characters on my list the new uh human and the orc uh they will be added to my tier list in the next few days guys so I want to thank you all guys for watching this video again make sure you join the discord server for the dragons giveaway to gain access to all our guides uh, like this tier list is actually available on my discord server uh, also guys very important uh, make sure that you keep enjoying playing dragon champion and i'll see you guys again in the next video thank you